CIFWA, the Science Fiction Writers of America organization, continually jumps the shark over and over. First off, of course, they banned me for calling out the fact that they have given awards to a member who advocates for NAMBLA, the North American Man-Boy Love Association. That's real. It's literal pedophile stuff, and it's part of their club, and they've They're fine with that, but if you mention it, if you mention it, that, that is a line too far. So, of course, they target Christians and conservatives, forming this insular social justice club out of what formerly was a uh, group about science fiction professionals trying to help each other uh, get better at their writing careers, and now they've gone absolutely insane today. I'll tell you about it in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and I have a novel and graphic novel coming out on Kickstarter on Tuesday. This is pretty exciting stuff. I, I've never done anything where I've done both prose and comics in the same world. I don't know if anybody else has really done that either. This is a huge artistic endeavor, and we're going to do awesome things. If you love like Valerian and Loreline, if you love things like The Fifth Element or Farscape, you are absolutely going to love Overmind. Uh, So check this out. The link's in the description below. All right. Story of the day is the science fiction writers of America have removed Mercedes Lackey from the 2022 Nebula Conference. This is not a joke. We're going to read their statement. This is hilarious in accordance with their moderation policy. So here they go. Uh, There's a 72-year-old woman who's one of the most storied writers out there. She's one of the biggest fantasy writers of the 80s. Uh, She's very popular uh, and, and has been for a long time. Of course, she is... Uh, really somebody who's been kind of on the liberal side of things and the feminist side of things. She's introduced uh, some of the first gay characters into stuff, so she got lots of accolades back in the day. Her most popular is probably Arrows of the Queen, which I've got pictured right here. Uh, It's part of a a series that later got called Foundation. And, you know, it's a huge fantasy series that really sold millions. I mean, this lady really uh, transcended a lot of culture. I'm actually surprised there haven't been... TV shows or Netflix shows or something made out of these books yet. I mean, it, they were that popular. So that's who she is. Uh, and of course, you know, they're having her speak at their Nebula conference. And this is what's going on with this. Here's their statement from CIFWA. The following email was sent to our CIFWA members and our Nebula conference attendees this afternoon. Dear Nebula conference participants and CIFWA members, We learned yesterday that while participating in the Romancing Sci-Fi and Fantasy panel, and yes, Mercedes Lackey's known for making, you know, romance a large portion of her books, and that's uh, that's kind of her deal. Mercedes Lackey used a racial slur. First, we apologize to our attendees and other panelists who were subjected to that slur. You'd think she literally, uh, literally, like, stuck her knee down on a black person's neck or something, the way they're talking. Uh, we're going to get to what she actually said. <laughs> you won't even believe it. It's it's so funny. <laughs> We've disabled access to the panel to avoid any additional harm being caused. So I guess uh, a word might literally cause one of these people to have a heart attack and die. Uh, you know, it, it might be true with these shrieking harpy SJWs. I mean, they do flip out so much over so little uh, that it could induce panic attacks and probably death uh, just hearing words. Second, we are immediately removing Mercedes Lackey from the conference and additional panels she was scheduled for in accordance with CIFWA's moderation policy. The use of a racial slur violates the instructions to, quote, respect all cultures and communities. Do not make derogatory or offensive statements, even as a joke. Jokes are actually the most harmful. They can't have that because they have to be super serious all the time. That applies to everyone in a CIFWA space at all levels of their career. Oh my gosh. Third, we will be discussing with the other panelists for romancing sci-fi and fantasy how they would prefer to proceed when they are able and comfortable in doing so. You'd think, again, they'd see, they, it's like they saw a shooting or something like that. And it's unbelievable what she actually said. It's such a small deal, and nobody should care, and it's not a big deal at all. Uh, but whatever. This is... This is 2022, and these are the craziest SJWs out there. Uh, CIFWA really represents the worst of our culture. And uh, the worst of just thought policing people and uh, race and policing people uh, and gender policing people, this is what they want to do. They want to they have everybody flipping out over this stuff all the time because uh, they're too busy doing that, so they can't write. So they want to you know, help their careers with this, I guess. 
All right, we are offering to edit out the offensive portion or hold the panel again, inviting back the other three panelists and moderator to take part. We will respect their wishes on how to handle the issue, sharing invaluable expertise offered during the discussion. Too bad they can't discuss books because, you know, it's too bad. Oh, well. Thank you for the conference attendees and panelists who reported the usage of the slur. Please report your fellow citizens. You know, total 1984. They want to they want to police everybody's thoughts, everybody's speech everywhere, uh, because it's important. It's important that everybody right think all of the time. Get in line, you peon. We appreciate being alerted to it right away so we can investigate and come to this decision as swiftly as possible. So these these little nobodies, and most people in CIFWA who are in charge uh, really just like are nobodies. They've written a couple short stories. They've gotten in there, made a couple hundred bucks off their writings. The president of CIFWA right now, Heffy Kennedy, actually, you know, she sells maybe, you know, 30, 50, 80 copies of her books when they come out. Uh, they pretend they're important people and they're not, and they got to keep these illusions of power. So they actually love this. When they can hit somebody like Mercedes Lackey, who actually has like a storied history in the genre, who actually has millions of readers, who is a big name, who's made a real career, uh, they can show that their clout has no bounds. And that's all this is about at the end of the day. Uh, Sifwa actually hit the hardest of it because right before this happened, Sifwa gave the Damon Knight Memorial Grand Master Award to Mercedes Lackey. Yes, they gave her a Lifetime Achievement Award, and then promptly banned her because she said something wrong. All right, people uh, were like, they, they were pretty crazy here. So this woman's 72, and, and, and she had a little brain fart moment in the middle of panel, and instead of saying, people of color, ah, oh, what a nice word. That's not racist. People of color. She said, colored people. Okay. Now, if you're a writer, and uh, you, you never use uh, those participle words like people of color when you could say colored people because uh, it's more concise. It says the exact same thing, and it means the exact same thing. So when she's just thinking that, and, you know, colored people was something that was, uh, you know, the, the preferred term of the 70s or 80s or whatever. I don't remember. It changes every day. Uh, what's, what's, quote, appropriate or what's not. <laughs> it's insane. But uh, when she does that, um, she's just talking. It's not like she said the N-word on there. Come on. I mean, it's like uh, unbelievable. But this is how far these people will go just to destroy somebody, just to keep their clout, just to show that they have the power to remove anybody at any time, that they, they're they the ones in control of the industry. They're the ones who get to impart the real clout. And that's what this is, this is about at the end of the day. It's out of control, and it's absolutely stupid. And, uh, you know, people of color is, is bad writing. It really is. <laughs> so, uh, gosh, it's so sad to watch this, to watch it. You know, you're in the middle of a speech. You're not, you're not saying anything intentionally or like that. There it is. It wasn't deliberate. It was literally a misstep, says uh, Jessica Stacy here. Uh, wildly inappropriate, over-the-top response. So even CIFWA members don't like this. Author M.A. Rothman says, Someone better tell the NAACP that someone white used the word colored. <laughs> It seems the wokest organization there is has to eat one of their wokest authors, a grandmaster, to top things off. And without warning, she's a person non grata. It's no wonder Sifwa is made fun of by normal folks. Uh, there it goes. Uh, of course, Nazis should explode and die. It was all good with this. Yes, that's a normal person. They, them, non-binary female. Thank God you're out there cheering this on. <laughs> that's a good decision. Another uh, they, them <laughs> baking website. Seems normal. Okay. And uh, it's crazy. So it seems like for the most part, normal people are like, this is insane. And, uh, you know, on the other on the other end of things, uh, you know, you got some weirdos that these people are trying to appeal to. And this is why CIFWA and the science fiction establishment in writing really are not working out very well. Um, you know, normal people don't want to just be bogged down in, like, missteps or misspeaking, trying to torch somebody's career and things like that. It's garbage. That kind of cancel culture is just absolutely cancer. And, you know, when you get people who actually do work, who are getting destroyed, who are 72 freaking years old, uh, getting harped on by these crazy ladies like Heffy Kennedy, uh, it's just disgusting. And these people should be ashamed of themselves on every level. But they never will be. And that's why SIF was a dying organization. That's why their membership's declining. That's why they're opening it up to non-professionals at this point. Because they can't get professionals to be in the organization. Because they don't do anything for you other than uh, run you the risk of destroying your career with something like this. Yeah, there's six, six sad individuals. And this is why independent 
science fiction exists because we're pushing back against these mentally ill people. And we're doing it by producing good works, producing our own science fiction that's fun, that's exciting, that doesn't play by any of these rules. And that's why we keep winning over and over again. All right. Let me know what you think about this. Are you a Mercedes Lackey fan? I'm going to guess I don't have a lot among my audience, but if you are, let me know. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to sign up for Overmind. Hit that little green button to get notified for the launch on Tuesday. We'll see you guys soon.